Fox News alert, former White House counsel in the Obama administration and Democratic lawyer Greg Craig indicted moments ago. He's charged with making false statements to the Justice Department. And this stems from special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation of Paul Manafort and his work on behalf of a pro-Russian political party in Ukraine. Before working for President Obama, he had been a senior legal advisor to President Bill Clinton. Let's bring in Andy McCarthy. We're going to make him come back and help explain this to us. <laughs> This is yet another one of these things where the Mueller investigation turns up another uh, situation. And now Greg Craig, that's kind of a big deal, Andy. Yeah, it's a big deal because of who he is, but it's really not. Uh, it, it was kind of inevitable, I think, Dana, um, when Mueller prosecuted Alex Vandersvon, who was mm -hmm. a lawyer that Greg Craig worked with uh, in connection with work that Manafort, Paul Manafort, and his partner Rick Gates were doing for Ukraine, uh, I think the clock was ticking on this. What Manafort alleged was that he had paid $4 million uh, under the table to a law firm which produced a report that was favorable to the Ukrainian government when Manafort was working for it under uh, Yanukovych. Mm -hmm. uh, they were evaluating a political prosecution that Yanukovych's government had done against his main rival in Ukraine, and the law firm kind of mm -hmm. said uh, the human rights violations and the civil rights violations weren't a big deal, and it was essentially fair, and it looks like it was paid mm -hmm. for. And also, this is coming under the um, foreign, it was the FARA Act, I can't remember the acronym, but it, this right. is one that, you know, I, apparently, like in D.C., in the swamp, it was okay to break this law for a long time, but the Trump administration said no, and they have gone after people like this. Yeah, I, it's the Foreign Agent Registry Act, and the idea is if you're going to be an agent of a foreign government, uh, you have to register with the Justice Department. It's been the law for decades, although I think there are only about uh, half a dozen even attempted prosecutions in about half a century up until Mueller. I don't think anybody should have heartburn about the fact that they're enforcing the law. I'm not crazy about the idea that you change policy under a special counsel. I think it'd be nice if, like, the Justice Department made mm -hmm. an announcement and said, hey, guys, you know, we're now enforcing Tighten this. Up. Mm -hmm. So everybody was on notice. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Um, but uh, they've, they've clearly gone after a lot of people on this. What is a possible punishment for this? Uh, my recollection is it's something in the area of about five years. I haven't looked at the statute for a while, but I think that's what it is. So it would be, I don't know how many counts are in the indictment, but every offense would be about five years. Guidelines-wise, he wouldn't be looking at a maximum statutory sentence, but that would be, he's a 74-year-old guy, though. It's serious business. All right. And we're learning more about the charges now, Andy, that you're here with this breaking news just happening. Greg Craig, a former Obama administration lawyer, he's accused of making false statements and concealing material information about his activities on behalf of Ukraine from the Justice Department. That's as you said, Andy. And Craig faces, uh, as Andy, you have a great memory. It's a maximum penalty of five years in prison and a $250,000 fine. Can I ask you, though, Andy, so when the bar summary came out, we were there for the breaking news. And there was there. I, I thought that we reported there were no other indictments that were expected. Is this considered separate and apart from that? Yeah. Well, it's it's hard to to nail down what that means, Dana, because as Mueller was wrapping up, they took some of the investigations they were working and they spun them out to other Justice Department components, including I think the Eastern District of Virginia, which is where, mm. if I'm remembering right, Craig is indicted. So there are a few other of these matters out there. Obviously, the Roger Stone uh, trial and litigation is still out there. Uh, I don't think there's anything big, big still out there, but there's a few cases. All right. Andy McCarthy, we appreciate you sticking around and helping us with that story as well. I'm sure we'll be back to you as these details just broke, and we'll get your analysis in just a little My bit. Pleasure. Thank you.